Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the APC by Schneider BX1200MI battery backup UPS. Today we are going to take a look at this, uh, see some of uh, its design, some of the specifications. So let's uh, get on with it. The design is pretty simple with a black case, but uh, in comparison with uh, some older models, this is very well uh, vented, so it will not keep hot air inside. That was a problem on older APC models that were actually uh, slowly cooking inside because of all that heat. This one has a lot of air vents on both sides and it has on the lower part and on the upper part. It even has some, these are actually design vents here, are not proper vents, but cold air goes in here and comes out on the top here so it has good air circulation and it will not overheat on the front we get a simple plate just one button no other things the rear is more interesting uh, on this model you get shuko outlets for shuko outlets uh, automatic circuit breaker and we get the data cable protection and this is a really nice improvement. You might remember from the old APC, the troublesome data cable that was looking like this and USB on the other one, kind of a proprietary cable. And this was costing a stupid amount of money, something like $30 just to connect to the software. Well, this time APC not only has changed to a regular USB port and you can buy a cheap cable, but it also includes one with your UPS, which is a great thing, huge improvement. Okay, so let's go back here. So another novelty, this is the fuse that was uh, not serviceable on the older models. And this connects the internal battery to the internal inverter. So to power this on, you first need to connect this, otherwise it will not function and it will be like not having a battery installed. So now the battery is installed. This is a budget type UPS, so it doesn't have a sine wave or a always on function. Uh, this is a line interactive uh, topology UPS uh, and it also has an AVR for stabilizing the voltage. So pretty good protection for a normal use, but uh, uh, it's not the best out there, but it's cost effective. And now we are going to check the waveform. So I have connected the splitter here to the UPS. The UPS is not plugged in. So with this one, I'm also going to check the cold start capability. If this will start only on battery and turn on with a load. Uh, the multimeter here is connected to the outlet. So this is connected to the UPS. And now I'm going to start it. And it has pretty nice green LEDs to light it up and there's the so-called sine wave which is not a sine wave it's a square wave let me adjust the range here a bit there you go that's how the voltage looks like so it's not a sine wave by far not a sine wave they say that it's a modified sine wave or something like that but it's not that one okay but it works and I have here a load of about uh, 30 watts, so pretty small load. Another nice thing about it, beside the buzzer that can be silenced and I'm going to show you some tricks about it. Uh, it's a really nice unit as it doesn't have any kind of noise, it doesn't have a air cooler, forced air cooling, a cooler or a fan, it doesn't make noise. Uh, also the transformer is very well in case and it doesn't have that annoying hum that some older models had when they started they were buzzing around this one almost makes no noise beside the people that can be silenced and now we are going to take a look at the app so it's the power shoot personal edition you know this but uh, now it has some more advanced information uh, this app runs on most of the APC budget UPSs, but uh, some of the informations are not shown on some models, while on this one it shows more information such as estimated runtime, 
but nonetheless it also calculates the average usage for uh, your uh, sessions it shows the current voltage at the outlet it shows you a log when uh, this has uh, run and uh, it has a uh, more detailed log here so first let's go to each of them so you have performance and here you can see when you have uh, blackout under voltage over voltage and electrical noise then on current status it shows uh, what it's doing it's running on ac utility power and uh, you see this load here so i'm currently using 123 watts of power on my pc and uh, monitor and some other small accessories such as uh, router and uh, small uh, network attached storage then if you go on uh, run self-test here you can test the battery did the test today to see if it works it's working then on energy usage you can uh, put here a cost for your uh, kilowatt hour it's not my cost in dollars it's in my local currency but uh, it will calculate you how much it will cost you the energy then on options you have options for the app you can check for updates there are none on uh, runtime, here you have a uh, strategy for preserving battery or keeping the computer running as much as possible. Then on notification, uh, this is what I was telling you in uh, a previous part of my video. You can disable completely the buzzer, so it will not annoy you even on uh, in uh, daytime. Then on sensitivity, here you have three options, and I will go with the highest one. And you can read here what this does. Uh, it's how fast this will intervene if you have fluctuations. So I want the highest uh, level of intervention from the UPS to protect my computer from all kinds of spikes and noises. Then on voltage, here is a bit puzzling because you usually buy uh, UPS also to protect your PC. So this one comes default with the UPS power going on battery if the voltage falls under 140 volts or goes over 300. Well, this one also has AVR which stabilizes the uh, voltage, but nonetheless the thresholds here are a bit too much and you don't have a lot of options to adjust them, so you can go to a maximum 290 volts and here a maximum of 150 volts which i'm going to select giving it more protection for my pc even though it's going to use a lot more battery so that's the app uh, pretty good uh, design and i like this load meter here which is very accurate and now uh, you might ask how uh, it's this estimated time here and if it's accurate or not uh, or uh, how much will this UPS provide backup power to your computer it's actually very simple this uses a 9 amp hour battery and it's a 12 volt battery so the battery stores 108 watt hour of uh, energy this is when the battery is new so you start with 108 watts of power then we need to look at the efficiency so this UPS has an efficiency at 25% load of about 91%. So if you run this at a uh, small load, only 25%, uh, this is going to have 90% uh, efficiency. So you are going to lose 10% of this capacity. So you are going to get something like approximately 100 watts of power from the battery. Then you need to also look at this load meter so I'm using 123 watts this provides 100 watts so it should get probably a very good time but that's not all you also need to check this runtime and you can see here with the load how this varies so at 100 watts here you get 32 minutes then at 123 watts you get 26 minutes so this actually corresponds with this timer so this is how you can calculate how much this will run on the battery and as normal as you can see here as bigger the load is the shorter the amount of time that it will run on battery is going to be because it's normal while at maximum power it will only run for 1 minute and 34 seconds which is 
a very small time but enough to save your files and close the computer if something goes wrong but usually even high-end computers gaming setups don't use that much current when you are not doing anything with it this is idle computer here so it's only uses 123 watts right now and with that said it's time to fully close it into its cabinet where it's not going to be seen uh, at all so it comes into mind uh, if you can shut this off uh, i haven't got any kind of option to turn it off so it's going to light up my cabinet inside i see this just as a waste of uh, energy because i don't need that green light yes it looks nice but it's not on display and this would be in suffice to see if it works or not so that was it for now i hope that you have enjoyed this uh, video until my next one see you and bye bye